Well, Tom, the rest of the world is moving to net zero um, because it's the right thing to do. And if the world is going to tackle climate change uh, and leave a cleaner environment for our kids, we need to do it collectively. It can't be a reliance on one country. It has to be done collectively. Um, and Australia needs to commit, like other nations, to doing the same and doing their best to increase renewable energy and to reduce carbon emissions over time. Now, Labor's committed to that. We're committed to net zero by 2050. And at the moment, we're working with industry, uh, with businesses, with experts about the pathway to net zero. Uh, it's worth pointing out as well that there's another international conference coming up towards the end of the year where further targets uh, will be set. So those outcomes will be important in the future as well. But Labor's got a clear plan, a clear commitment. Mm. It's this government that hasn't got the plan and doesn't know where they're going. Well, 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 but you don't have a clear plan with respect. There's a commitment, there's not a plan. You have not said how you'll get there as yet. Well, these are the issues that we're now working through with industry. Uh, we're working with the experts, uh, we're working with industry. We've said a few things about uh, the approach that mm. should be taken, for instance, not using Kyoto carryover credits um, as a means of trying to get there. But uh, Labor will work with, with industry um, to develop that plan over the coming uh, months and that plan will be revealed and the costings will be revealed before the next election. But what's important so, so just to is that, that there is a the commitment there to do that 2050 um, and to work plan, with industry to get there. Before the next election, Labor will outline the path to 2050, all the details on how various industries will contribute at any cost. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we'll outline uh, how we're going to achieve it um, and what the plan will right. be for that achievement. Um, but I think it's worth noting that um, there's a cost to not acting, Tom, and that cost is that uh, we don't foster Australia's yeah. economic development. We miss out on those job opportunities in new industries that the rest of the world is taking up and Labor doesn't want to so, be so, in right. Australia where we've missed out on those opportunities. Is that how Labor would cost it, that here's a price tag and let's just throw one on there, $50 billion, but you say, oh, well, not acting would cost $100 billion, so this plan costs negative 50 Is that how you'll cost it? Well, there was a report released by Deloitte uh, just last week uh, which shows that um, if we act, then there's 250,000 uh, jobs that can be created in the Australian economy over the next decade by adopting that approach of net zero emissions by 2050. The cost of not acting and basically doing nothing as the government is, is about 800,000 mm. jobs are lost. So there is a net benefit, I think, for Australia in taking that approach and acting. And it's in evidence such as this. Right. I mean, we've got companies now that manufacture batteries uh, for, for cars. That's creating jobs. That's a net benefit for our community. The people that install solar panels and batteries in people's households and businesses, that is a net benefit in job creation for our community. So the benefits far outweigh the cost of taking action on climate change.